Hey guys, let's start playing today. I've done a bit of a warm up before, so I was playing on leechess.org and I was um, just doing a bit of puzzle rush. I usually like to get, um, on average, about the mid 30s. Um, my highest is actually 44 in a three minute, like in puzzle rush, but at the moment, yeah, so whenever I get mid 30s, it means I'm pretty warm to actually keep up. Where are we going? I think we're just simple development moves at this stage, so nothing too stressful. Uh, we'll fall back and then transfer and open up the rook. So it was more important. Sometimes you'll see the difference. A lot of players at a lower rate won't drop the bishop down. Uh, we could actually trade uh, trade here and then open up both rooks now, or just the one rook. But you know what I mean. Um, let's. Continue on, possibly. Uh, do we do that? We could try and open up the center. Because I think we are slightly ahead of uh, material now. Like, and he has not... He hasn't actually uh, fully developed yet either. So we could actually develop here. Which could help us a bit better. He's got a castle now, though. Um, I knew he was going to castle to just due to the fact that there wasn't many other moves. Um, just a luff, um, rook lift here. I was going to go <laughs> say luft. But obviously that was not the case. Um, so we can go here, maybe bring the rook across. Now we'll have to fall back. Okay. I think we'll go here. I don't think that's the move. I was thinking about that originally, and then I was going to hope for this, and then take this, and then I realized that um, he could just take. Uh, we could just double up. We could just double up. Or, oh, okay, he can take this. If he takes that, like, we can move forward and possibly almost get in there. So that's something I like doing is like knowing that if an opponent is got a move going and it's going to be like pretty obvious, how could we benefit from it? But I don't think we can. I, what I mean is like if I if I move this guy, I know he's going to go and take here. If I know like pretty much 99%, I could actually try and work out a plan against that and see if I can actually improve. But... I couldn't really say it. I'm just defending the pawn. But yeah, sometimes that can work. Uh, we are defending that pawn doesn't need any help at the moment. Um, I do. Uh, what I did miss previously in in uh, one of the videos before, what I did was um, remember there was a bishop pinning my one of my pawns or pieces. Uh, to the king. Um, so then at this time I'm actually moving it across. This is just removing that bit of that rust. Just little moves like this, you know, just removing any of these nasty checks that can happen. They're not nasty now, but eventually if you do forget, um, it can definitely turn into some uh, bad luck, so to speak. Okay, we're gonna redirect it. Ah, uh, man, I just, yeah. Not worried. Maybe I should be worried. I'm not really worried yet. Ah, why did I do that? Because I really wanted to go here. Oh wow. Um, I've dropped the ball on this one. But we've only lost two pawns. It's not the weld. I mean, it's it's still pretty bad. Oh, wow. Uh, we dropped that as well. But luckily enough, he didn't take it. Well, he we didn't move there. So maybe he didn't... He's not seeing everything. He saw it one move too late. Alright. Now our pawn is hanging. Almost expecting this move, but we got this as a fend. Um, we're down two pawns. Not a piece, though. It's still very scary, though. 
we don't necessarily have to take. Um, we are defending against this square now. Uh, I feel like my pieces are really not doing much at all. Okay. Going for this. We can accept this, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, let's go here. I've got a feeling he's going to try and trade. He's up three pawns now. It's huge. It's only when you're up. Uh, they what do they say? The first, the first one is the worst. Uh, we could take here and gain a pawn. But really, not really solve anything at this stage. Uh, we, we do need to hurry. Let's um, play recklessly because we've got nothing to lose. And hopefully within the crazy play, I was going to think, within the crazy play, uh, we can we can possibly get him to do a mistake and somehow recklessly make a comeback. But uh, yeah, we just were out of it then. Okay, we lost the first game. Not really overly worried, but we did see the first... We saw the... the the move to remove uh, the pin. So that's still a bit of growth. So sometimes everyone's worried about the win. You just don't worry too much about the win loss all the time. Just worry about seeing the board a bit clearer and reading the game. I think we just scare that bishop away. Yeah, just getting our pieces out, get a castle there. Get a trade if we go here and we get the bishop pair. Now he's going to fall back. Hopefully, he wants us to go here, which we're not going to play, but we'll play this instead just to get our pieces active. Um, now we might go here because then he can't take. Yeah, so he can't actually. Um, move here. Do we open up in front of his king? All right, we'll open his king up. Remember, this is quite big as well. Just heating up this, heating this up. This becomes weak. Got to be careful though, because if we do take, if we do take this pawn, he did have a check and discovery. We'll take the pawn now, and possibly the rook as well. He just resigns. He wasn't losing, I don't think. Well, maybe he thought he was. Anyway, that was a really quick bounce back, so we're happy with that for now. Uh, that new game. Very happy with that bounce back. So win the second game. Alright, so my videos are going to consist of three games, I think, per video. And then I'm going to play some Zoom Poker as well on the other, t on the other videos as well. I am an ex... Um, poker star player like he's not always play cash players like cash games play at the casinos beat some of the regulars as well used to play pop poker um used to have a good winning record but you know i understand if people don't believe that i've got no reason to lie but it's fair enough it is what it is unfortunately in australia you can't play online uh real money poker anymore but it's quite tragic it really annoyed me. Um, it's supposedly I've learnt just recently. Not that Australia. Australia is one of the worst uh, gambling countries in the world. So I, I guess I have a rule um, per capita they were losing too much money. Um, if we take, he's going to send the rook down. If we don't take, we get the queen there. So just looking at to take is a mistake type scenario so just seeing where all the pieces lie towards the end um after the trade because not all trades are created equal so that is the reason why i didn't take but it wasn't that much of an advantage him sending the rook back but 
He could have actually probably went queen f1 after that and get some type of an attack. I thought I won't take and I'll just block it. Or I, I, second um, go here as well, which will stop his bishop from coming down. Okay, then he might trade the bishop and then we've got the bishop pair. Or, you know, he's going to send his bishop back and then we haven't got a bad position after that. I think we're actually... Got a decent position, so. Now it's up to him if he's going to allow this. Uh, we could take. Uh, we're not taking because he's going to send the bishop down. That's just silly. Um, If we go here, he's probably going to take. And then we take, take, take. Um. Also, we could possibly just go here and defend the knight. And also get this. Uh, we get this fork. So I don't always react to their threats. Um, this pawn's pretty good. He could actually take this pawn. He could probably take that pawn too if he really wanted to. All right, we get the bishop pair because I think, yeah, he's just going to go there. We get the bishop pair, which is nice. Strange decision, but we will happily take it, especially when we have both these. That proves nothing. Get the point. Oh, we get the knight now. Also, we can push forward. This is really good position now. It's a fun position. And now we just take the free piece. But don't just automatically take. We just skim through to see what we could do. Um, we also had. Uh, we also had. We could probably push forward. This would have been check and then then promote. And then take back the queen if he takes that way. So that was a really nice second. That was a nice game. So I think we won that one too. That was really fast. But we that was pretty solid actually. And I don't know why I'm playing the French defense. I'm not French, and I'm not. I'm not a really good fan of this opening. Sometimes I miss. Um, just misclick it. It's pretty easy to misclick sometimes in online chess. He's going to throw the knight. No, he's not. I thought he's going to throw the bishop in, but no. Okay. If we go here, are we prom is he going to go here? Uh, not all players do that. I am the type of player to do that sometimes. Uh, we could have actually almost taken this. But he's castled, so it's not pinned anymore. What is he going to do? Ah, it's pinned now. It is pinned now. We win a pawn because this is pinned. See, notice now, just ever so slightly, we're just starting to read the board a lot better now. Yeah, we're just starting to read this board so much better. Um, we could throw a check in. But no, I'm going to take... I'm, still gonna, I'm gonna take here. I was looking at moves like this, but the bishop could just take back. So it wasn't worth it. Uh, also, I was looking at this move. We've got some other moves now. So we're going to slide back here. And think about Greco mates. So Greco mates is bishop. The bishop one side. And yeah, you just back with the other. In between move. In between move, what do we do now? That is the question. I think we just retreat. We, we're up a pawn, so we did get something out of the opening, out of a good opening. So Playing in the lower rating, uh, you don't really see many French defences. Uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat or in the comments. But uh, yeah, some I, I don't specifically see... French defense that often. Still a lot of Karos, Sicilians. Although I do see, I used to see a lot of French defenses attacking the D pawn, and that felt like a long time ago. And it felt like a much lower rating. Um, so people might. 
work out it doesn't seem right it doesn't seem like it's working these days so maybe they've changed their minds with it you've got to be a little bit more uh, persistent with openings and try and learn things the hard way i guess i'm trying to act like a know-it-all i'm i've i'm just someone who likes to try and improve my chess and i believe i have improved it somewhat like we're rated 14 15 now it wasn't that long ago i couldn't get i couldn't even get 1400 that was, it's just nice to be up near this level without, you know, without even really trying too much. Um, it, it really is coming out the wrong way, but the way it is sometimes. Uh, we can pin, we can pin this piece, which I do like, but I think I'm going to move the knight. If I move the knight, the pawn drops. Pawn. Yeah, I don't want to drop. Okay, I don't want to drop the pawn. So this is where this comes in. Um, then we just pin the knight instead. Need to get the bishop active. It's not really doing anything. It's going to find a better square. Um, I would have preferred this, but this bishop. Is is uh in a good spot anyway. So I didn't want to move the dark square bishop for the light square bishop. I think that's not a good move. So let's continue on. Now he has to react to the the threat that he's got. Uh, also. Yeah, now all of a sudden he looks like he has to keep defending this knight. Uh, we got this move coming in, hitting the rook. So I think we're going to win this knight now. And the knight can't move. He's got issues. So continuing on with the plan, we just ignored what the queen was doing. So continue with our plan. It seems to be working now. So sometimes pin it to win it works as well. And plus we didn't want to lose that central pawn. So that's how we uh, didn't overlook that move. All right, so he's realized he's in a bit of a bind. He's going to take a long time here. But we can instantly probably play. Yeah, he just resigns. He knew he's in a big problem. This was happening. Um, yeah, he goes here. We push. Then he's got to move off. And that's just the piece. And then we also win the rook if he goes here. Because the rook would have went here, and then if he goes here, we win everything. If not, if he goes this way, we're pinning the rook again. And then what happens then? I, you know, uh, yeah, the knight. Uh, the bishop comes in. Yeah, so we go here. So it's a he goes here, push there. He goes there. We take. Bishop comes in, he probably takes, we take. And then he has to fall back. Oh, wait, he can't actually fall back. He can't fall back anyway, and he wouldn't have to, because if it was the bishop. Oh, we have to take, and then takes. And then I was just thinking about, Oh, actually, wait a sec. Bang, bang. Wait a sec. This is that's actually mate. If you actually look at it, it's actually mate. So if he goes here, this goes here. We take right. And then what? Um, he's we're blocking him. He can't do anything. I guess we have to fall back here, but eventually this was happening as well. So whatever I was saying before, I was a little bit off though. So I don't think the, the rook couldn't really get there anyway, unless, um, wait a sec. So he goes here, there, don't mind me. This is trying to visualize, which is really good for your chest as well, mind you. Um, so we take. And then, 
I guess he'd have to drop the queen back somehow, but he can't defend on the dark squares or the light squares as well. So either way, he's just toast. Either way, he's toast, and it's really hard for him. Because it's just, uh, that's, the, that's the core issue. It's just this. And even if he moved to the side as well, um, we could just move forward and deliver a check, but probably not doing too much there. But at the end of the day, what it is, he opened up, he opened up uh, these, this uh, pawn here. So it just enabled my bishops to go along these files and, you know, the queen just really attacking the king. The king can't defend from the diagonals. So that was probably his main issue there. And if you look at our king, it's very safe. So, um, yeah, he just pushed through his pawns. He should not have done that. We can have a look why he pushed his pawns. So that's another thing too. So this move essentially is what killed him. Um, just by trying to get a strong center here, he he just uh, destroyed, you know, the, he he just destroyed his defense later on in the game. Like this sometimes works if they typically try and do this and get the momentum, and it makes, and you know what, if they get the momentum and win the game, it makes you look like a genius. If you lose the game after doing something like this. It just makes you look really silly, um, but that's the case here. So really just playing this move is just, it's just really hanging on. He doesn't need to either. What would be a better move? Probably just throwing a knight in to defend, just throwing a knight in. You know, it's a bit weird that the bishop defending, I'm not a fan of that move, by the way. Not, not really. Um, but there's so many other moves you could play here. You know, this, this, probably bishop as well. Um, and that's another way too, what you can do. And, you know, you can actually find out what your opponent did wrong against your winning games as well. And then just ask yourself, what would you do better here? Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish the video here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.